All right, good morning. It's Howard Cohen. We're here with Travel Bums, the Travel Bum Diaries on Open House Radio. And I want to uh, introduce you to one of my favorite restaurants here in Morro Bay, California. It's called Roca's Surf Shack. And uh, we're going to look at the view out of here. We're standing in there right now, and you can see what an amazing view they have uh, of Morro Rock and Morro Bay. It's just gorgeous out here. A uh, great day today. So we're going to go in the kitchen and watch them make their famous salsa. We're going to be talking to the owner, Lisa Cortez, and her husband, Todd Collins. Is that right, Lisa? Did I get that? Good morning. That's right. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Nice to see you. All right, my hands are clean, so. Mine too. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to watch you make uh, your famous salsa here at uh, Roca's Surf Shack that right. goes with all the great fish tacos that you make. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, your own special recipe. Tell us a little about it, real quick, before you uh, it's start. My mom's recipes, and I kind of tweaked a little to make it more of my liking. Okay. <laughs> but and it's been around for how long? Well, it's been around since 1983. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I came back. It's my liking, too. It's, yeah, that's why I'm here. I came back. Uh, my recommendation on the salsa. Okay. So uh, it's not even on the menu, is it? It's just no, something that you guys. That's just something we just throw to the side of the fish tacos and uh, with the chips and salsa. So. And it smells great already. You haven't even started making it. Okay, so go ahead. Show us what you do here. Okay, so first I just grab the regular tomato, can of tomato sauce. I put a whole can of this one and then a half a can of the Mexican uh, tomato sauce. Right into the blender there. Blender. Just half of it there. Go in my tomato. Not now, too much, just a little. Now your mom, mine. where's your mom from? My mom is from Michigan. Michigan? Yeah. And so she's been making this uh, sort of like salsa for you guys ever since you were kids or what? Well, you know what? Like, yeah. I mean, we always had it. So with the dinner, everything, breakfast. Uh, so... <laughs> Me too. I yeah. love salsa. It's my yeah. favorite food, to be honest and with you. When I was younger, I didn't like it. It was always too hot. But uh, like I said, I just uh, I loved it. We always have it every time we have dinner. And you know, I started kind of like I said, just kind of watched her what she would use, and then I would tweak it a little. Have what my, kind of pepper is that? That's a jalapeno pepper that I boiled and grilled. Boiled and grilled. Right, okay. Right. This is for more of a spicy. Try not to do too spicy. Like I said, I want to go for more of a taste. Uh -huh. um, get the garlic salt. And then, again, I do everything by taste, so I don't have. I don't have no measuring spoons. Measure. No. no. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's I, um, that's a professional's way yeah, right there. So Looks kind of like a Bloody Mary almost in there in the yeah. blender, the way you've got it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I'm very> <laughs> <laughs> and then what I do, I'll just go ahead and kind of. Uh, If your salsa turns brown, uh -huh. um, then it it just it means it has a lot of cilantro and it kind of overpowers. So okay, when I it like when it you more. cook it, you're saying when it turns brown, once you mix it. Once you mix it, so I just put a little. I just put a little bit of cilantro. I don't put too much. I like the color. I like to see a little bit of green in there. Yeah, but if it, if it does turn brown, it means it just has a lot of cilantro. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would have seen, thought you would have put more than that, to be honest, based on my own cooking experience, you know. So that's good that you mentioned that, yeah, that it's yeah. not so, overkill on And it. I love cilantro, but like I said, if you put too much, then again, it's like overkill. And I love lemon. I think the lemon is what kind of takes away from the hot. Uh -huh. So do that there. It gives and, it a little tang as well. Yeah. I like the lemon too. And then throw my... Crushed red, again, not too much, just a little enough to kind of... Cayenne pepper there? This is the crushed red. Okay. And then I usually, I'm always tasting as a... As do all good chefs. <laughs> usually we just yeah. stick our fingers in there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they do. Really. <laughs> Needs a little I more, huh? Since um, since I'm on tape, <laughs> I do it this way. 
Yeah. No, nah, it's okay. We don't care. We okay. we know we know we all stick our fingers in our food. It's the way to go, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where's Todd? Is he hiding out during all this? I think so, yeah. He likes to... Oh, okay. We'll have to catch him before the end. What does yeah. it need now? I think... I think it's good. All right. Yeah, good. Go ahead and... I think I try it's a chip? Yeah. Yeah, okay. sure. Again, my favorite part of the whole thing. The eating part. All right, let's give it a try here. That might be a little spicy to get to that jalapeno. That's okay, I like it spicy. We usually have a lot more of that. I like it a little more spicy. Yeah, I like it spicy too. Great, delicious. Yeah, fantastic. And like I said, you're throwing and more of the red, crushed red if you like it a little hotter. And the consistency is really smooth. It's not like. Uh, you know, a traditional tomato chunky salsa because you're not <laughs> yeah. you're not cutting up uh, a lot of tomatoes. You're no. using the sauce, right. which makes it much smoother. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that, yeah. and uh, it's a good it's a good change from some of the other uh, pico de gallo type salsas that are out there. Yeah, and I love pico de gallo too. Yeah, me too. But this is really nice. It's uh, and again, this is why I came back. So now I got a whole blender full of it, yeah. and uh, we can put it out there in the restaurant. Yeah, just throw it, use it as a like I said, the fish tacos are number one seller right now. So. This will last maybe a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to refrigerate it, obviously. Uh -huh. How how uh, how long have you guys been over here in this location? And tell everybody where you are so they can find this place. This one, we're at 945 Embarcadero, right on the Embarcadero in Morro Bay, right across from the uh, you know the, the surfing shop. The surf shop, right? Yeah, and uh, we've been here now. Kind of the end of the Embarcadero, uh, yeah, first part of the yeah, boardwalk, right by actually. The anchor Park. What's the address? It's 945 Embarcadero. 945 Embarcadero right here in Morro Bay. And uh, this is really one of the better restaurants in the whole Central Coast as far as I'm concerned. It's got a really great atmosphere as we showed you in the beginning. It's got a really cool uh, owners and really nice yeah. atmosphere about it. The whole inside, outside. It looks like a surf shack and it's right on the gorgeous bay, the water. Yeah, it's, uh, really good, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I did. I got a great right out the window right there. So, all right, Lisa, thank you so much. That's thank really uh, cool. Appreciate I appreciate that. All right, let's see if we can get Todd over here. All right, I didn't want to walk out of here without uh, getting Todd Collins, the other uh, half of this ownership team of uh, Roca's Surf Shop. How you doing? All right, all right, Todd. Very nice to meet you. And I just want to tell you what a great place you guys thank have you. here. It's fantastic. The, Food is really stupendous. The atmosphere is great, and of course, you got a great wife and a nice assistant uh, chef there, as, uh, as I will call her, I guess. <laughs> Main chef? I don't know what the what the word. Anyway, well, thanks a lot, and uh, appreciate your having us here. All right.